communicating. What is the dog communicating when, let's say they've always been good, they potty outside, we don't have any of mm -hmm. those issues. And now all of a sudden we're, we, you know, the, the dog peed in the house or the dog started Sorry. chewing on the table or yeah. things like that. What is the mm -hmm. dog saying, hey, I need some attention here? Or is the dog more overwhelmed with the space, like more energy in the home? What would you well, say? You know, th this is what I say. Folks exhibit any behavior um, like chewing, um, urination um, in, in spaces. You know, those are two different things. Um, I'll start with the chewing. So chewing, um, doing parkour all over your couch, <laughs> running yes. around the house. That to me is a dog that needs, has not getting its exercise needs met. Um, and you need to step it up as a, as a dog owner. So you need to get that walk in. Your dog's communicating, hey, I've got this extra bit of energy. And unfortunately I'm putting it into some bad stuff. You know, okay. um, chewing um, is sometimes um, matters the age of the dog. Um, Cause if they're teething, obviously it feels good. Right. Um, you know, say we have a six, seven year old dog, border collie, just for say. Um, um that that is starting to chew your your kitchen table now that the baby's home you know like it to me as a trainer I'd say like hey is has it gotten to run you know you got to meet as far as breeds um what they were bred for and and bred sometimes over 100 years to do what tasks and try to meet those tasks they are a work of art you know they are the they are the biggest um human experiment is, is the dog, you know, right. we have really, um, we have bred these animals to do certain tasks and to be a certain way. And it's up to us when we decide to buy one um, and bring it into our home that we meet those needs. Cause they are, you know, they're ancestral needs, you know? Right. Um, and as far as peeing in the house, um, now obviously a dog squatting and peeing on the floor in front of you and making eye contact, that's not, he has something to say. He's like, hi, you've been ignoring me for 35 minutes. I've been telling you I have to go out. So here we go. You know, sometimes you get that. <laughs> and then sometimes you'll get a dog that all of a sudden is, is jumping up on the couch where you've been laying um, the bassinet for the baby and peeing where you've been laying the bassinet. That's a dog saying, hey, like, I like to lay there and let me just communicate that this spot's mine. Okay. What that tells me is that dog doesn't have its own spot. Uh-huh that's when having your dog's place is huge. Um, you know, they're always saying something, they communicate, they they live in packs. So they're, they live right. harmoniously most of the time and they communicate.